Do you know the story of your wardrobe? Because I know mine. I have the strange ability to connect moments and memories to my garments and I can, yeah, remember special occasions through a garment and can, can tell you where I bought it and why I bought it. And sometimes I have a hard time to letting pieces go. Yesterday I yeah, cleaned up my wardrobe uh, and discovered some old jeans and trousers um, where I have attached some memories through. And uh, I will use them for a future upcycling project and um, have many ideas for this channel. But I will uh, share with you some details about the future of this channel at the end of the video. So keep watching if you're interested. And um, yeah, that's my birthday dress. I finished it just in time to wait. Uh, to wear today on my birthday and yeah I already attached some memories to it. Um, I had quite a few problems to sew this dress and um, especially I nearly screwed up the sleeves. Um, the dress is made out of poplin. Poplin is quite stiff and I wanted to turn in the sleeve seam twice but it looked super strange and the seam turned uh, inside out and I wanted to solve this problem but it didn't end up well. I tried several methods and then I came up to the idea to sew in a ribbon. Uh, this ribbon I got from a dead stock sale on eBay. Uh, and I purchased more than 200 meters of old ribbon um, a few weeks ago and I'm pretty glad I did because these lace ribbons uh, and ribbons would cost a fortune if you would buy them new and I'm super glad that I got them and uh, they saved this project because otherwise I might have screwed it up and then another part which I already screwed up I will share with you at the end of the video. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment it helps me a lot and without further ado let's start sewing this dress. So first we are going to alternate our basic pattern I added three centimeters at the center front and added also three centimeters around the neckline and half a centimeter at the top shoulder point. And at the back side I also added 3 centimeters and curved the line. Then I moved the dart. For that I cut open the original dart and uh, fixed it with some washi tape. Then I closed all the darts and pinned the shoulder seams together.
after sewing the shoulder seams, I pinned in my sleeves and sewed them in. Then I cut out the color interfacing. And suit it in. I trimmed back the seam allowance and understitched the collar. So it's Sunday evening and I nearly finished the top part of my dress. And I'm super happy that it turned out the way it turned out um, because at the beginning I had doubts that my neckline would look a bit strange because I added darts in the neckline and uh, also I thought the color might look a bit strange but I think it looks quite refreshing it looks a bit unusual but it looks good and I'm very happy with the way it turned out sewing is a process and on my way I always tend to develop new ideas and today I got the idea okay and today I got the day. Yes, totally Germanized. <laughs> sewing is a progress for me. Uh, sewing is always a process for me where I can develop new ideas on the run. And today I got the idea to add a peplum onto my skirt and onto my dress. And I'm going to sew an A-line skirt for the dress and I thought maybe it would look nice if I add a peplum part but I'm not sure if my idea will come out okay or if it would look weird uh, so first I'm going to sew the a line skirt and then I will try out something with fabric remnants if it would look okay or if it would look strange and thereafter I will decide uh, what to do next. Then I suit the A line skirt and make sure to calculate in your hip measurements. I sewed the skirt panels together with a French seam. And thereafter I inserted the zipper. Sewed on my interfacing with an invisible stitch. Mm -hmm. 
city armholes together with some lace. And thereafter, I sooty him. And that's it. Often we see the bright side on social media, which is on one hand very good because we have nowadays so many inspiring professional looking images and videos and ah, for me it's, it's such an inspiration to scroll through YouTube and Pinterest and simply look at the garments on the other side um, we have the problem that many of us are under very high pressure to create the perfect garment and to only show yeah the bright side the perfect stuff but uh, the reality is far away from perfect many youtubers do make mistakes in their garments and do make mistakes in their lives and we only want to show the bright side of us on social media don't we and um i wanted to yeah implement something to show a bit more reality um as i mentioned in my intro i had huge problems sewing the sleeves of the dress and I nearly screwed him up uh, if there wouldn't be um, this ribbon around um, I would have screwed up the sleeves and I wouldn't have worn the dress and uh, I also nearly screwed up another part of this dress and you might guess what it was I forgot to calculate my hip measurements into the skirt piece of this dress and I nearly screwed it up I had to yeah, set in some um, fabric um, parts into the skirt to make it wearable um, they are set in at the back side uh, around the zipper to make yeah, the face a bit wider so that I actually could fit into this dress and sometimes you're so much in your head and in your thinking while making patterns that you forget things and it's completely normal to forget things and um, in uh, sewing often it's about improvising uh, and sewing is your hobby you often encounter mistakes or yeah things you didn't think about and need to improvise and it's not bad to make mistakes um, it's completely normal but with sewing you can learn how to how to react on these mistakes you can learn to yeah be a bit more patient and just try again because a mistake isn't grave and that's what I wanted to share with you. Also, I wanted to share something personal with you at the end of the video. Um, on my birthday, most of the time, I like to think about my future plans, what I want to achieve in my next year of life. Um, in my last year, I decided to open up this channel. Uh, I didn't open it up di directly. I wanted to practice and first um, published some videos on Instagram. Because speaking in front of the camera 
isn't comfortable all the time and I screwed up a million times um, especially um, in my English sentences because I'm not um, English mother tongue speaker as you might have imagined and um, sometimes you stumble across your own sentences or uh, yeah miss a word and you need to film the whole video again and um, it got better over time and I'm super happy that you are following me and watching my videos I'm super super grateful that this channel has found an audience and yeah I'm very grateful for this gift and uh, in my next year I want to yeah found my own pattern label uh, or at least try to found a pattern label um, because it has been a dream of mine for a while now and I want to share my designs with the world and I have to work on uh, grading my patterns um, I'm not a professional uh, so I guess I won't be able to uh, share my patterns in all the sizes directly I have to learn um, digitizing the patterns correctly but um, I want to give it a try and hopefully I will be able to yeah realize it in my next year of life so if you want to support me please leave a comment or leave a thumbs up uh, follow my channel it helps me to reach a broader audience here on YouTube but I guess you already know that I'm super grateful for all your messages and comments I read them all and um, hopefully I will be able to share with you some more interesting topics